going on a trip. I'm going to Austin, Texas for Austin City Limits Music Festival. And I thought I would vlog, obviously. Why wouldn't I? My plane leaves tomorrow morning at 6.40 a.m. And I haven't packed anything. So, I'm gonna pack. You're gonna help me pack. I got some new outfits for this trip specifically. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let me show you what I have. This mini dress. Very cute. Very Texan. So Texan, it hurts. Okay. Very, a little Wizard of Oz moment, if you will. <laughs> Which is like Kansan, I guess, but I don't care. Dorothy goes to Texas. Yeah. I also have this new top that I really love. Very cute. Um, got it from Urban as well, both of those. And then. I also have this purple top, which is hard to show off, but it's like a little wrap around the neck outfit, which is very cute, a little purple moment. That hopefully won't give me the worst tan lines ever. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure, cause like I have nice clothes, but it's supposed to rain all weekend. So I'm like dressing nice, but it might not be worth it, I guess. We'll have to see. Let me find some more clothes. You can never go wrong with jean shorts, so... Jeans! I feel like sweatpants are just such a necessity. Especially on trips where you're walking so much or just doing so much and when you get back to the hotel, you just... I love these sweatpants. Life savers. I'm only going for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I come home Monday. But I am such an overpacker. I went to New York when I was a sophomore in high school and I overpacked like crazy. I packed the night before and the morning of the flight. And I just took so many clothes I didn't need and it was <laughs> like so dumb. And I feel like I'm doing the same thing this time. But when you get to like a place, you never know what you're gonna wanna wear. So I might as well take like all my favorite clothes because who knows what I will be in the mood for. You dig? Anyways, I am very nervous. I took a few trips this past summer, just like driving. I drove like four hours away to hang out with some friends and I got like really nervous. <laughs> before leaving for each trip. Um, and I don't know why, I just, I have no idea. I just got really nervous from being away from home, I guess. The last year of everyone just being at home makes it harder for me to leave, I guess. I don't know, I, I'm nervous, not for like the flight or the hotel or the festival or anything, it's just, being away from home, being away from my dog, being away from home, you know? Just makes me nervous, but I know I'll be fine. My, I'm really happy that my dad is taking me to the airport and I get to like stay the night at his place because I've always traveled with him. Like the only time I haven't traveled with him has been, I went to Europe with a music group in 2019 after I graduated and that was like two and a half weeks I was I, I don't want to say by myself but I was on my own it, with other people with like but there were there were sponsors there were like adults telling us what to do and where to go and that helped a lot and that was the first trip like without my dad there with me and now this is gonna be my first trip where I really am kind of just on my own in a way um Sarah my best friend is going to get there the day after me. She's in Chicago right now. Um, and she'll fly from Chicago to Austin. Um, and then we'll both fly home to Kansas together. But she will be there on Friday, which is going to make things so much fun. <laughs> I love her. This will be our first festival together, which is going to be a lot of fun. 
there's a lot of artists that we love that are going to be there. Uh, Billie Eilish, Doja Cat, Greta Van Fleet will be there, which is exciting. Um, it's just the like getting past being away from home that I need to get over, which is very hard. I have never really had like panic attacks before, but the last time I left home for a few days, uh, I when I drove, it was so hard for me to just get on the road and start driving. Like it was so hard for me to just physically walk out the door and I don't think I'll have that problem because I will have my like dad there to help me uh, just kind of get over like getting into the airport and stuff, um, which will be really nice. It's just, I'm nervous to be away from my home and my stuff and I won't, you know, I've become unfortunately very attached to my PC, which sounds so degen like but it'll be weird being away from that for a while. I am bringing my laptop with me, obviously, to edit and just be able to join Discord still, like always, because that is something that is gonna be very hard to be away from as well. There's only one Discord I'm really like super active in and it's my own Discord. So it's, that'll be weird too. So yeah, it's, you know, it's gonna be different, but I'm gonna do great and I'm excited. <laughs> Even though maybe I am not looking as excited right now, I promise I am. Uh, and I'm just, we will see where the wind takes me in Texas and what happens. Cause I, it's gonna be such a experience that I am very excited to document. I'm very excited. This is my first like big challenge vlogging wise, which I think is really cool. I've kind of only done Bella's birthday, which was fun, but this will be my first trip after kind of getting my vaccine. A cool thing about the festival is that we have to show our vaccine cards in order to get in, which I think is really nice. So we'll show that at the door. I have my card and yeah, I'm excited. I need to finish packing, do some laundry and then go to the grocery store. So I will see you in a little bit. I forgot to pack these throwaway masks, that, a whole pack of them, so I need to do that. Okay, I'm all packed. I am getting ready. Bella is whining. It's like she knows I'm leaving. Um, we spent a long time at the park today. I'm walking out the door. This is the hardest part. It's just walking out that door very difficult so we'll see how long it takes and I'll just let you know when I'm in the car yeah okay I'm home <laughs> I'm at my father's house which is my childhood house my childhood home um, it looks very different from when I was a kid but I'm here I want a bed in the living room that's a picture of me Wow oh my goodness <laughs> That's me and my bed. Wow. So I need to sleep now because I need to get up in six-ish hours, 4 a.m. So I'm gonna pass out. Good night. Hi. It is 4.23 a.m. Going to the airport now. Look at these boots. Oh my gosh, focus! Wow. Wow! Yeah! As I was trying on hats today, I'd try on a hat and I'd say yeehaw to make sure it felt right. It felt right when I said yeehaw in this hat. It felt very right. Um, <clears throat> after that, went, uh, came here to a hotel. As you can see, I have two beds. That's because my bestie is joining me tomorrow. Uh, she's in Chicago right now, but she flies in tomorrow for the festival, uh, Austin City Limits. So 
very excited. Um, we're gonna pick her up from the airport tomorrow, which will be really fun. So I will have a friend, uh, my 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 from home friend here to hang out with me. Uh, now I need to take off my makeup and go to bed because I already know I like the energy is gonna be questionable. Like I just know energy wise. This weekend's been gonna be hard, and this is the first time I've been away from home for like oh, just longer technically than a weekend, which I don't know. I feel like I'm making a big deal about it for no reason. Like I'm 20, I should be fine with leaving home, especially to go do fun things in other states, but I don't know. It's just really hard, I guess. But I'm doing it. I am doing it. I miss my Discord already. I feel like Discord went down today a few times or something, and it's like it's like missing a day of school and like five fights happen at school. That's how it feels. I don't know. Um, if you're watching this and you're my mod, I love you. Thanks for like taking care of things while I'm gone. Much appreciated. Much obliged. Wait, hold on. <laughs> much obliged. Yeah. So. I am going to get ready for bed, and I'll probably say goodnight to you before I fall asleep, so. Mwah. You're in over your head now, Julie. Chase someone else instead. I know that boy is fine, but girl, I have a spine. So back your sorry ass off, cause he's mine.